What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys a pretty cool text editor in Linux. So I got a couple questions about a good text editor when working with websites or actually building websites and so i thought about this application that i've been using for a very long time and it's actually called bluefish and i wanted to go ahead on and show you guys this application and a little bit on how to install it as well as how to use it so uh let's get started so the first thing i want to do is go to their home page uh and it's actually bluefish.openoffice.nl and if you can't I'll put a link down in the description to the actual uh, page. But here's a little information. Let's read a little bit. Bluefish is a powerful editor targeted towards programmers and web developers with many options to write websites, scripts, and programming code. Bluefish supports many programming and markup languages. See features for extensive overview and take a look at the screenshots or download it right away. Uh, so let's go to the features. I want to go down and show you guys this. Uh, so it's lightweight, fast, uh, multiple document interface. Uh, you can have open like 500 plus documents simultane simultaneously, uh, project support. Uh, and one thing I want to show you guys that's very important is the, um, the customizable program and language support. So you can actually add, um, you know, support or include the language definition files. Uh, it actually comes with them for a lot of various um, web programming languages as regular as well as regular programming languages. For instance, like ASP, uh, .NET, VBS, that's Microsoft right there. Uh, C, C++, CSS, and uh, Google Go. Uh, HTML, XHTML, HTML5, JavaScript. Uh, let's see, I've used MediaWiki um, before. Uh, PHP, Python, Ruby, R, um, SQL, WordPress. Uh, so, I mean, all these different programming languages are supported by the actual application. And what I mean by supported, uh, when you're actually typing, uh, the code, you know, it gives you hints depending on what type of language you actually write in and it actually helps you with the formatting so your code looks clean and and all that good stuff. So I also wanted to go to their uh, Wikipedia page and just to read a little more because when I first was introduced to Bluefish, uh, I was using it as web development, and that's what it's mainly used for, uh, in my opinion, because there's other uh, programming text editors out there that are a little bit more suited to other types of programming languages. But web development, this one excels in, uh, in my opinion. So, I mean, it'd be a good thing for you guys to check out. So, uh, and that's why in the Wikipedia, it says... Bluefish is a free software advanced text editor with a variety of tools for programming in general and development of dynamic websites. So they even say it here, you know, it's, it's, it was or it's mainly used for creating websites, in my opinion. And also it's on all the platforms. So Linux, Solaris, uh, which, you know, Linux, uh, Mac OS and Windows. And in Linux, it's in pretty much all the repositories. So Arch, uh, Debian, Ubuntu, uh, it's pretty much in all those different repositories. You, so you can download the application um, straight from the command line or from the actual app store, depending on what distribution you're using. So enough about the actual application. Let's get into it and actually uh, install it. And I'm going to use my desktop on this one because I already have it installed. Uh, I'm using Arch uh, Linux. So let me show you guys how to install it, which is pretty simple. It's just sudo uh, pacman and then dash uh, capital S and then bluefish. 
and I'm going to tab it out. Yeah. And so you just just run that and that will I'm not going to actually do it because it's already installed on my system. So I'm not going to going to do it. And in Debian, it's pretty much the same thing. Sudo app, you know, install. So it's all based on um, the distribution you use in the actual package manager. And before I get any further, I want to go through and show you guys in case you're still on Windows, how to actually get the software. It's under downloads. On the Bluefish website, there is the Windows installer right here. It's 32-bit, so you can download that, install it that way. And Mac OS as well, OS X installer right there. So, okay, so let's go ahead and open up the actual application and show you how to actually use it. It's pretty simple. And I'm not going to go too deep because I'm going to try to make this short video just so you guys can, you know, kind of see. So, I mean, all the basic, you know, menu, you have file, you know, you can start a new template, uh, edit, you know, copy, cut, you know, fine, uh, view, you could change up the view, you can put it in full screen, uh, there's an output uh, pane, so like if you're running scripts, you can actually uh, see the output from your actual scripts. Uh, documents you know it'll do auto completion pop up it, so when you type in some actual code it will automatically pop up uh, you know auto indent uh, show block you know it's just some different stuff you can change in here increase the font size tab size um, language mode you can actually set it to a specific language so if you're writing in PHP then you can go in here and set PHP uh, to the actual language that you're going to be writing in for this actual document. Uh, and you can change it, you know, back, whatever. And that's that's good to, you know, actually mess with because it'll pull up the libraries for you. So when you, you it'll show you suggestions as you're typing out your code uh, to try to learn uh, whatever coding language you're trying to learn. So. And then this is kind of a shortcut, you know, you can go through, you can look at recent documents, uh, previous documents. And as you can see, I haven't used it on this system, but uh, I do have some stuff there. Now, this is the project. This way you'll create a new project. A lot of times I create a folder when I'm starting a new project. And then when I create, start creating that project, it'll start saving all my documents within that project folder. So... That's a good thing to do once you start like a project. It's the same thing with other editors um, that are built for programming. It'll it'll have like a project folder and then you can kind of look through the project uh, directory here and you can create folders and all that good stuff within the project. Too. And here is the tools. Uh, you can actually uh, open up Firefox from here. There's a few commands like chmod, you can change, uh, you can make some executable directly from here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And a few other browsers. Now you have to have these, just a, just a quick point. You have to have these browsers installed because it's going to look for the default, uh, area where this, these actual applications are installed. And some people have all of them installed. So like when you're working with, uh, web sites, uh, you can look at the differences, the differences, which are code based on the browser, because certain browsers, you know, it'll show the site a slightly different. So that's a good thing. Uh, and this is filters, you know, sort, um, you know, there's one good thing that's built into it. it's called PHP beautifier. So if you write some PHP code, and you know your tabbing is off a little bit uh some stuff is not you know set how you think it should be or some stuff is you probably got extra spaces in there or you got stuff indented kind of further over and this will actually clean up your code uh to make it look a little better so it's a good thing and then just some more some more formatting stuff for you uh indenting insert convert it's just different things this is the zen coding 
um and then this is the tagging so this is uh pretty simple it's it's normally done with html so you have your tags uh, you can create a header you can create different sections uh depending on using the tags so you can automatically add those in here by just selecting them um and so right here is a, a dialog where you can go through or dialogues where you can actually go through and set up your code using uh, a dialog or set up the start of it. Uh, so if you go to quick start, you can select what type of coding language you're going to be using, uh, which is HTML right there. Uh, you can put in a title for it. So I'm going to just put test. Um, site and then you can go through and uh add the meta metadata to it you can set up the style uh you can use a script and let's just see what happens with this all right cool so it actually generated everything for uh, html and you can go on and get right started with uh the actual you know actually creating your site or whatever and then just to show you a little more there or also, you know, table, you can go in here and create CSS. Um, it's a CSS dialogue. Uh, they got framing dialogues. It's a frame wizard, a uh, form wizard that allow you to create a quick form. Um, and then, you know, managing audio, video, uh, setting a canvas, you know, in time. So it's a few dialogues. You can go in here and play around with it. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've used it in the past when I was writing some HTML working on websites. So that actually helped out a lot. Now, under the help, there is the Bluefish homepage. It'll take you to their homepage, which is that site we just went to. Um, you can report bugs. Um, here's the about me information. This is currently Bluefish 2.2.10. Um and the license information, you know, all that good stuff. Um, and the build info, you can look at that if you want to. Um, now down to here, you know, it's pretty much create a new document. You can uh, open a file, you know, save current file, save file as, close current file. You know, it's just general uh, buttons for you to actually do things. So you can indent, unindent. Uh, you can preview your code in the web. So it'll attempt to open up your actual uh browser to open up the actual site or whatever you're working on in the browser so you can see what it looks like and i'm sure you can modify this in the preferences so i'm not going to go through all this but there's a lot of you know editing information in here or preferences that you could set you can change colors you know uh you could do backups and recovery um so just check this out, you know, it's pretty good. And this is a very detailed uh, application for when you're building websites. So uh, I definitely recommend you checking out their website and going through the documentation to actually help you get started with this actual application. But at the end of the day, this application will help you vastly in creating websites quickly once you get a rhythm down in it. So pretty cool application. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have a question, please leave a comment down below. And of course, keep it techie.